So we're getting pretty close to Christmas time. I know Thanksgiving hasn't passed, but it's already about the middle of November, and I just want to get in the holiday spirit. And so today I'm going to be talking about the top five best things you can do in Colorado for Christmas time. We're throwing in some $20 things, some $30 things, but we're also going to throw in some free things because I know things can get pretty expensive out here, and I just want to make sure everyone can enjoy the holiday spirit. So one of the very first things that I want to talk about is Denver Zoo Lights. So Denver Zoo Lights is where the Denver Zoo, they pretty much put up so many LED lights. You can walk around the zoo. You can see some really cool things. If you see the video right now, you can see the whole zoo right there. It's lit up with all the trees. They have like animal lights. Everything is super, super cool. And something that I'm personally doing within my team is we're buying out the zoo. So next weekend, we bought the whole zoo. We paid for everything and we pretty much invite all of our clients to the client appreciation event. We have drinks, we have the restaurant open, everything's open, and it's just a nice little client appreciation event that we have, and that's gonna be going on next week. I'm probably gonna vlog that soon, but Zoo Lights opens from December 2nd to January 7th, so it's pretty much exclusive as well, but if you aren't making it to our client appreciation event, then you should definitely go check it out. Adult prices are 25 for adults, and then it's $18 for kids. It's really cool, I think you guys would like it. Now, secondly, something that's a little bit cheaper, that's also really cool for groups of people, is Christmas in color. And so basically what Christmas in color is, is you put all your friends, all your family in a car, you pay $35 for the whole car, and you drive through a bunch of lights. I think we can scroll down and just watch this video real quick. The video should speak for itself. Let's just mute it real quick. We're gonna skip. But you can kind of see everyone gets their cars. They have all the lights, it's a light show. We have the kids poking out of the cars. You don't gotta do anything too crazy. It's pretty similar to zoo lights in a way where they're just putting up so many lights. But instead of walking out in the cold, because it's gonna be cold when you're doing zoo lights, you're just in your cars, you're just driving around. Everyone looks like they're having a lot of fun and this is a lot cheaper for big groups of people because instead of paying about like $25, $30 per person, if you have a big group of people, you can pay like $30, $35, put everyone in a car and you can just ride around and you will have such a fun time. It's really cool. And I haven't done it before, but I've heard great reviews about it. Everyone loves it. I think it's something you guys might wanna do. Now, the next thing we have is a certified Colorado classic, and that's at Elitch Gardens. Everyone who lives in Colorado knows what Elitch's is. That's our amusement park, that's our Six Flags, that's where all the fun is had in summertime, but they also have some cool stuff in the wintertime that I wanna talk about. And so basically, I'm just gonna play the video, but Lenoma Holidays, it's pretty much, it's pretty similar to Zoo Lights and the other ones where they put all the Christmas lights around. They have like the Ferris wheel going and they have all the smaller rides still going. They have cool light shows. They have Santa Claus. Like they have so many things that you can do here and it just looks really, really fun. It's another way that you can still go to Eelges in the winter time. It's gonna be a little bit colder, but you'll still have a lot of fun. Now, something I do wanna talk about is tickets are normally $25, but if you scroll down, they have an early bird pricing, which ends November 12th. This video this video goes up November 12th, so if you're watching this video and you're watching it the same day, you can still get the early bird ticket, but if you're watching it after, I'm sorry, you probably missed out, but it's like a $5 savings. But the single day ticket is $20 instead of $25. It's still a good amount of savings if you're bringing a group of people so try and get in there early, but if you can't, $25, it's really not that big of a difference. Now, one of our very last paid events is at the Denver Botanic Gardens. Of course, you guys have heard of this. This is where they show all the beautiful flowers, all the scenery, all of the gardens. If you haven't been here in the summertime, it's such a really cool, beautiful place to see. But even in the wintertime, there's so many cool things that you can see, and that's what I wanna talk about. So they have something called the Blossoms of Light, and essentially, it's the same as the other ones where they put a bunch of cool lights around, but this one really puts you in the Christmas spirit. Prices are 25 for adults, 23 senior, 21 for children. It's all in the $20 range. If you're a member, you get it a little bit cheaper. If you're in the military, you also get it a little bit cheaper. Or if you're a student, $23. So they have really good prices for different people. Let me click on the video. And we're just gonna watch a quick segment of the video and just talk about what they have. So of course they have like the light tunnel. They have all this cool stuff, cool ribbon, right? We're gonna skip through, but they pretty much just put really cool lights, really cool decorations around the garden so you can still see all the beautiful plants. Maybe some of them aren't as thriving as they are in the summertime, but they have cool lights. I think the pyramid right there, I think that's cool as hell. And this is pretty much where I wanna pause it, but you can see they have the whole loop of the Botanic Gardens lit up. They put so much work into it. I've heard really good reviews about this. I think it's gonna be really fun. 
So let's start getting into the free things that you can do because not everyone wants to spend money to go have fun, especially for Christmas time. You can do some free stuff and you can have a lot of fun. And one of the very first things you can do for free is you can head on down to Stanley Marketplace. If you haven't been to Stanley Marketplace, it's a really cool place. They have like Sweet Cal, they have drinks, they have different restaurants, they have boutiques in there. It's a really cool place to just hang out, have fun, and just have so many different things you can do if you haven't made your mind up on what to do. And one of the cool things they have at Stanley Marketplace is they have Camp Christmas. We're gonna play the video now and just talk over the video. But essentially what Camp Christmas is, is they decorate Stanley Marketplace, they let everyone kind of walk around, do your thing, just see different Christmas scenery, but it's still Stanley Marketplace, so you still enjoy it like it's Stanley Marketplace. They have some really cool stuff. I think this room's cool. It's outrageous, it's crazy. And it's fit for all ages, if you guys don't know. But it's honestly nothing too crazy, it's mostly just enjoying Stanley Marketplace. It's from November 16th to December 24th. And I think it's a really cool, fun, free event to do. And if you do end up spending money, you're probably just gonna spend money on like foods, drinks, ice cream, just stuff like that. But you don't have to spend an entry fee, which is really, really good. Now, one of the very last things you can do for free, which I think is cool to kind of walk around and see, but I honestly wouldn't plan my whole day around it, is the Mile High Tree presented by Xfinity. Don't forget the sponsor. But pretty much what the Mile High Tree is, if you don't live in Colorado, you just haven't seen it before, it's a really big LED tree. You can see it in this picture right here. And they just light up the whole surrounding area. A lot of people do it. We're just going to scroll through pictures. But you can kind of see just there's the big tree, you know. Um, you can take some cool pictures under it. You can be, take pictures next to it. This is why I say you don't want to really plan your whole day around it because it's not that much going on. You see the tree, you look at it, you're like, wow, that's cool. Then what do you do after that? You walk around, you just do your thing, you take some pictures, and then you leave. And so you can kind of still do stuff in the surrounding area downtown, walk down 16th Street, go do some sightseeing, go do whatever you want, something else that's really free, really easy to do, fun for everyone. Well, that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. There's so many good things about Colorado to see during Christmas time, and this is just my top five. There's probably places that are better. There's probably more places than what I put, but these are places I've either done personally, want to do in the future, or just heard really good reviews about it. And so I hope this gives you guys some inspiration, something to do for the holidays. As always, I'm Kareem Howard with Coldwell Banker Realty. I'll catch you guys next week.